Hello everyone, it's Jared the RPG Lord, and welcome back to more Eternal Sonata. Last time we entered Fort Fermata, and in this episode we are going to continue through it, alright? So yeah, there is nothing down there for us right now except for an enemy. So, um, let's keep going. We want to go all the way to a save point, that's what it says on the walkthrough. Oh yeah, here it is, here's a save point. Um, and we want to go down the small ladder and into the room. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> the room, like the movie. I actually really like the movie, it's very good. So let's go in. There's an enemy um, ambush. So um, let's fight it. Oh, three maledictors. How pitiful, you soulless creatures. Oh good, Deep. Hopefully we'll get a Club Clover. Sure we can. And let's go over here, and hopefully this Void Edge will kill these enemies. Awesome! Now let's use Fire Blast. Awesome job, so, Beat. What do you think? And we want to press the switch, I think. Yes. Yeah, this is right. Now the room moved, and I'll meet you back at the west side. Alright, we are back at the west side save point. As you can see, we moved the room, and we can go over here now, and get the chest. Let's do that. I'm having a pretty good time in this dungeon, probably because I'm following the walkthrough exactly, and so this contains a poison blood, a very, very good weapon for Allegretto, so... Let's equip it. And, um... Alright, now you want to walk all the way back to the east. My mistake, you want to go inside this room and press the button. That uh, switches everything back, I think. Yes, yeah, something did move. Alright, I'll meet you back at the east side. Okay, so you want to go all the way down here. Now that we've returned that room back to uh, where it, it was originally, I think. Yeah, so you want to go all the way down until we cannot go anywhere anymore. I believe that this is the right way. Let's see. I did, um... I did press the switch. I hope I did the right thing. Indeed, I did! Alright, now let's go in here. There are a few maledictors. Yeah, this is the moving room. Let's fight these enemies. I don't think we need to fight that enemy. We got another Club Clover for that fight. And, and an odd chocolate, which I believe lowers attack of an enemy. Alright, let's go over here. There is something for us, I think. See, there's another ladder right here. Yeah, this looks right. I need to turn on my tablet. It. I don't want to keep it on all the time. Yeah, you'll be on a small section of a path. Um, is it over here? Let's see. Um, I think it is. Uh, yeah, I think this is the right way. Um, is it? I hope. Uh, no, it, it's not. Well, alright, let's go back over here then. Hmm. Gosh, I hate this dungeon so much, but we're gonna get it done in this episode. It's not there. Oh, it's over there. I'll be right back. Then you want to go over here. 
somewhere, I hope. Um, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, this is like the most confusing part of the dungeon for me. And it was the last time I played it and the time before pretty much every time. I hate this dungeon so much, but like I said, we will get it done. Good job, good job. Al Greto got a level up. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Alright, just where do we go? Um I think we have to go down here, I think. I think... Let's see, I hope we do. Gosh, I really do hate this place so much. Ugh. But like I said, we'll get it done in this episode. There is something over here, I think. I did see a chest. Hmm... I knew that, like, before I started recording, I was gonna have, I was going to have trouble in this place. Yeah, Maple Baton. Oh, that is a weapon for Frederick. So let's equip it. But where is the other weapon? I'll be right back, I'll try to find it. You know, I, I really don't care about getting it now. Because it's actually a weapon that we can get a little bit later. So we want to uh, climb up this ladder and we'll be on like the other outer ring. So yeah. So yeah, you want to keep going on the rings and then you'll end up at the Outer ring, yeah. You want to like go over the the roof of the um, moving room, and that's how you, how you can get here. So yeah. But anyway, let's um, go here. This is the last part of the dungeon, and let's save really quick. All right, we have a boss. Let's fight it. Actually, let's check first. Okay, we are good. Uh, actually, no, let's heal, um, Allegretto. I'm gonna keep Frederick and Polka in the fight. Because I don't think Viola will be very useful. You foolish creatures! All right, we have the Killer Knight. And this can be kind of tough. So that's why I, I brought, like, Frederick and Polka. Well, Frederick can rack up a lot of hits. And, um... Wow. And with Algredo's Poison Sword, um, he can do a lot of damage. So yeah, let's use Coup de Jarnock. Forget the pain you felt. And okay, you use another wave. Or no, not yet. Let's. Whoa. Whoa. That did quite a lot of damage. Can this boss be poisoned? I think it can. Right sacred now, let's signature. use Sacred Signature. Sacred signature. <laughs> Very good. And Polka, you rack up a lot of hits. So when Algretto uses Void Edge or whatever, you can do a lot of damage. Alright. Come on, Algretto, you can do it. Yes. Float adrift at the boundaries of nothingness. Void Edge! Have a nice nap. Awesome. Now, Frederick, you keep attacking. Take, 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 take. 
Oh, I think Hulk will be able to use like a powered up never nether wave. Yes, she will. Awesome. Whoa. I need to heal up next turn. Sacred signature. Sacred signature. Awesome. Sacred signature. Yay, three sacred signatures. Whoa. And so let's use Nether Wave, or no, not Nether Wave. Yeah, we want to rack up a lot of hits, so... Um, so Allegretto can do a lot. Some might think this will be a powered up Void Edge. Yes! Very nice! Whoa! And Frederick Sacred used signature. Sacred Signature. Sacred Signature. Sacred Signature. Awesome. Now everyone is almost fully healed. Yeah, I, I like Frederick as a party member. Well, Frederick is actually my favorite character in the game, and you'll know why later. But, like, he's also very, very good in battle. I think it's gonna be a powered up Void Edge. Yes. Awesome. Have a nice nap. As you can see, it's almost down. Whoa. I knew they take it. Sacred signature. So heal up. Sacred signature. Awesome, and Polka, you uh, rack up some hits. And that's it. Got the fourth okay. Mata key. And Frederick and Polka leveled up. It's a frame of mind, you see. Very nice. <laughs> so happy, and I believe the Lace Veil increases defense. And the party leveled up to three. Two slots are now available for both light and dark special attacks. Holding down the R2 button will change the special attack. Press the special attack button when the other special attack name appears. There are now 20 item slots. The action gauge is set at 4 seconds and tactical time has been reduced to 3 seconds. Moving even one set will immediately begin to reduce the action gauge. Use your tactical time wisely. My goodness, this really isn't much of a fort, is it? Nope, they're more worried about an invasion from Baroque these days. They've probably pulled out almost all the troops from here. No matter how much time passes, war remains. Yeah, that's true. I've even heard rumors that Baroque has been supporting Andantino. For Baroque, it's an easy way to shake up things in Forte, without getting their hands too dirty. Andantino? They're an underground group that's been trying to start a revolution in Forte territory. Basically, they're a bunch of rebels. Wouldn't a revolution be destructive? But isn't a revolution better than nothing? It may improve people's lives a little. And that's a good thing, right? Hmm, it's not that simple, Beat. Think about everyone involved. Andantino, Baroque, Forte... Which one should win? We ordinary people don't have any way of knowing which of them is right. I would imagine they have their own agendas. One of them has to be the good guy, right? Who knows? They might all be evil in their own way. Then again, they might all be right. It's hard to be sure. Then, how are we supposed to figure out whose justice really is true justice?
Understand? Uh, can you explain it again, Jazz? Ugh, Claves. Why do you always need things repeated? I'm sorry, but this is an important mission, so I want to make sure I get it right. Yes. This mission is vital to our cause. I'll explain it once more. Is that all right, Falsetto? Fine. The objective of this mission is to rescue the guardian of a go, go forest who is being held captive in the dungeon beneath Forte Castle. We'll infiltrate the castle tomorrow at dawn. But the castle gates are heavily guarded. What will we do about that? We'll use the underground passage between Hanan Hills and the prison. This information is solid. Our members spent a full year investigating it. Falsetto's right. It won't be that difficult a mission. We just have to bring the Guardian back. Excuse me, but why are we rescuing her anyway? I mean, how will this mission benefit on Dantino? Apparently, Waltz is searching for glowing Agogos. One of our members spotted his man Fugue in the Agogo forest. So, it makes sense that they would want to detain the Guardian and make her tell them about the glowing Agogos. The glowing Agogos? But. What on earth does Waltz want those for? Well, they do taste good in soup. Falsetto, if you don't take this seriously, we'll end up making a mess of even the easiest missions. <sighs> Fine. Apparently, Agogos dramatically increase the effectiveness of mineral powder. But it seems that only the glowing ones have that effect. If Waltz gets his hands on them, He'll be able to create an unlimited army of mindless soldiers. I guess from Waltz's point of view, by multiplying the effect of the mineral powder with the glowing agogos, he'll be multiplying the number of troops he has at his disposal. I get it now. And then he'll use those troops to fight against Andantino. I don't know about that. I seriously doubt he'll be attacking Andantino anytime soon. He probably considers Baroque more of a threat. All right, you two. Come on. I think it's about time we cut the chatter and got to work. All right. Interesting. Who are those people? Got a score piece that is very good. We'll be able to use it later. And now that we've finally finished... Ford Fermata, I think we should end it off here, alright? Next time on Eternal Sonata, we will leave the fortress and continue heading to Forte, alright? See you guys then.